different things. So there's this old couple, and the wife is like, she just hasn't been feeling good. It's like, almost like a week, she hasn't been feeling good. And so her husband's like, you know what? We, we're going to the hospital, so take the hospital. This whole battery of tests. And the husband's sitting in the waiting room, and the doctor comes out, and he goes, so we ran just about every test we could think of, but we kind of kind of fucked up the results. So we can't tell if she has Alzheimer's or AIDS. And the uh, the old man's like, "What the fuck am I supposed to do with that information?" The doctor's like, "Well, here's what you do: you take her home and send her for a walk around the block. And if she comes home, don't fuck her." <laughs> I said it was offensive when I started it out. <laughs> I, 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 never, I said that was old, but I've never heard it like more. So, uh, like so, so <laughs> we are Northern Knives. Uh, no, we are not Northern Knives. No. Well, well, we we are Borg. We, we are, are Northern Knives. We are Borg. <laughs> um, I'm Dakota. I'm, I'm uh, Hugh. Inside TNG joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Dakota. I'm the web admin here and the guy who does, edits the videos. And we're joined by Chad. I smoke cigars. Yes, he does. He looks pretty. Thank you. Sits there, looks pretty, smokes cigars. That's his job. I'm uh, I'm Mike from Northern Knives Avenue and uh, 3DK. I'm Laurie. I'm with the same. I'm willing. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right you are. For anybody that doesn't know, watch. Avenues video, I understand why. <laughs> uh, I'm Alistair, I'm the manager of the Knives. And uh, we're here to talk about something that I'm not super knowledgeable in because I <coughs> haven't used nice, it much. Because you'll have an outsider opinion on it. Mm. Oh. Talking about so we do like this. Zip blades versus gut hooks. Yep. Zip blades versus gut hooks. So Pros what is, and cons. What is a zip blade? A zip blade Before is... Before we get too far into this, um, yes. what would you like? Let's uh, look into that. Some Jack Daniel single barrel. Can I get some booze, booze or other booze? Anniversario. <laughs> that sour mash is pretty good. Would you um, like the cook inlet? That's actually really far away. <laughs> what? I had the cook inlet last video. I'm gonna have the uh, Anniversario this video. The other room. The big A. And what are you drinking? Uh, In the single barrel? Did you grab that single barrel? Right leather right sleeve that was too hard to ride to one person? That's the one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the that one. one. I thought you could turn. Thank actually, you, sir. while we're reaching, just go, go, go ahead and grab that sour mash for me. Please. <laughs> It's sweet and delicious. It is. Holy shit, boy. It's just a little bit. Um, we're driving him home. I'm so glad that you know, Thomas is driving us Well, home. My, my concern is he's only half <laughs> I don't know what you think this that coat's going to help, but that's that's 91 proof, I think. Yeah, that's that's right. Oh, no, that's barrel. That's barrel. That's barrel proof. So it's probably 120. Oh, Bearing your chest, there. you know? <laughs> what was I drinking? Oh, I'm drinking this. That's it. So what is the difference, or actually, what what is Before, a zip wire? We get started. What do you think about either of them? Because you had said you've used a gut hook before, but not a zip blade. I've used so, a gut hook on a mm. few fish before, and I, I didn't have. You never used it on like on big game or anything. No, on big game, I, I don't laugh at me. I used I used an old ash shred, and then um, I've seen worse. I used an axe, and I had a hacksaw, bone saw. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, but I mean, getting through, getting through the high, getting through, getting started. Getting started, and then we would just quarter it after we'd string it up, gut it, let it bleed. Yeah, yeah. Um, for like a couple hours, and then we would just quarter it and pack it out, and then deal with everything at home with a gas powered sawzall. <laughs> gas powered sawzall? Well, you know, Jesus you need Christ. that three quarter Jesus horsepower, Christ. man. <laughs> so, gut hooks have been around for a long time. I don't know the history of them. And gut, gut hooks were super popular. Even as early as 10 years ago, gut hooks on knives was a super popular thing. Which I think is right about when we started carrying the zip blades. So, Outdoor Edge makes both these knives. They're great knives. But for up here in Alaska, bigger game, zip blades are a much better option. Gut hooks were great for like deer, for... We should probably illustrate the difference as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Go ahead. Sort of all over the place. Oh, sorry. Go for um, it. But, stream of thought. Yeah, it I get it. A gut hook is like a like a notch cut out in the top of the blade, <laughs> Thank and you, it's Anna. usually no bigger than like a half inch, and it has most commonly it has a grind on each side, so it comes to like a fine edge on in the middle of the grind. Okay. Yeah, and I see that right there. It's got a grind yeah. on both sides. Sometimes it's a edge. single. Sometimes it's a single. Most, if you ever find a custom knife with a with a gut hook, nine times out of ten it'll be single sided, yeah. just because they're difficult to do. So why would you make it twice as hard? And I've noticed a lot of people put seatbelt cutter hooks on there and act like yeah. which are gut different hooks and very completely different. different. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. They don't have that nice round edge, uh, round. Uh, 
cutting edge to them. They're more of like to a sharp Comes V, a aren't they? Yeah, yeah so you yeah. just pull hard in it. Yep. Okay. It doesn't, uh, because with the rounded, if you're pulling on a strap that's straight, when you if you pull hard on a rounded one, it can actually curl into, if yes. the blade's not sharp, it'll actually curl into that, and then now you're just pulling on it. Yes. Okay. A zip blade is almost, it's a knife in itself, but it's, more it's like a reverse curved. knife. Yeah, almost. it's a curved. It's not quite a curve, but it's curved edge. It has. It's rounded on the end. So when you make your initial incision, you stick your zip blade in and you angle it and you work it like a zipper. Mm -hmm. You can do the stomach. You can do legs. You can do a bunch of different stuff. But it's easier to sharpen. One, uh, they're not made in the U.S. So they're not like a super fancy knife of any sort. I imagine you could find somebody to make you one, but they're just. They're a much more universal tool for, especially for people up here. Well, because they will work. Because these will work on big game and small game. Whereas yes. this is, you're, this so is not the best tool for a moose. What's the name of that knife? Steve. A white tail. White tail Skinner. So, it's really for. Thanks small for making game. me the butt of that joke. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sorry. Because I don't know the model. I thought you did. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, but uh, you know, this is. I mean, for moose hide. This just seems this just seems more work than it's worth. I've had I would people... almost rather use I would almost rather like take your knife and there's that old trick uh, where you take your knife and you just choke up and you put your finger on the end. My dad does and that. go in like that. Yep. Well, that's exactly what this is yep. in one tool. Without that's your why fingers, it's, the blade doesn't go all the way to the end. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's yep. that so you don't tip. cut the gut sack and then now you're. Because I know two Aww. people that have like done the knife trick with the finger and gone up and stuff and they've cut themselves or infection and what that's what I want is I want to cut while I got my finger inside <laughs> a fucking random animal that is exactly. what you want. so what a mixed bacteria with really a random does moose. eliminate all of that it's not expensive it's not incorporated into your knife in any sort of way so if you're using that white toe skinner like yeah there's a spot for you to put your finger on top but what if you slip and you cut yourself because you have little fingers who knows Okay. Well, and, and usually, with a few exceptions, uh, Benchmade does make a, um, uh, they do make... A folder and fixed blade. Well, no, uh, I'm talking about a fixed blade, but... Uh, the gut hook. Gut hooks generally don't come in really good steel because they're it's falling out of fashion. Steel. Yeah. With, with a few exceptions, and what I was trying to get at is Benchmade makes one, and so your gut hook is actually S30, which is... Yes. Because the entire knife is S30, so is. you get a higher end steel. Yeah. But with Down generally, you don't. You get gut hooks in 440 and yeah. shit like that. Downside is it is a smaller gut hook. Yeah. It doesn't work great up here, but for folks down in the states or anywhere yeah. else where there's smaller game, it works great. Yeah. So for. Does outdoor edge make that swing blade? Yes. yes. Is that also part of the swing blade? The swing, the swing blade is basically this, and it has a pivot here, and it rotates this in, and then the blade comes out. So but they have that uh, zip it's blade the, yeah, also. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Not to get sidetracked, but they make it in a folding version. They make it with yeah. replaceable blades. Yeah, yeah. But the zip blade versus the gut hook, in my opinion, is a better option. In Alaska, for sure. In Alaska, definitely. One thing the gut hook does work pretty well for is uh, like pull cutting. So non-game related, but like cordage, if you're setting up camp, Oh, yeah, that's pull true. Pull straight through paracord or anything like that. Yeah. Set up tarps or something like that. So it's pretty well in that application. That's have you used it that way before? I have. Nice. I have. Do you also, on, also uh, chops kindling with that this one? At, as a matter of fact. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I guess if you're going for smaller game, gut hook's not necessarily the worst way to go, and you get more of a multi-purpose tool when you do that. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. But a zip blade is dedicated. Thank However, you. when you're doing large game, you can't really accept a substitute unless you absolutely know 100% what you're doing. Well, what, and I also like with this is an inexpensive option. So these are, they retail like 19 bucks, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Which means uh, you can have this and it's cheap, it's inexpensive, it's really easy. And then you can have a really high end steel on your hunting knife <clears throat> and not have to worry about having finding a company that will do both in a really good steal because then that super limits your options. Like I said, yeah. off the top of my head, <clears throat> Benchmade's probably got the most high-end yeah. gut hook I can think yeah. of out of S30. I think S30. they're really the only one that I've ever seen. That's really doing a good gut hook. Yeah. And, and the sizes vary Steel so wise. much. Like yeah. this is this is kind of par for the course, but I've seen them smaller and I've seen yeah. them, I've seen them larger, but. When we get people to ask us to sharpen them and we, I'm, I don't have they're super <laughs> They're super disappointed when you tell them you gotta take a ceramic rod and do this. For an hour, yeah. beer and a rod, <laughs> and then do this. Yep. <laughs> Is it? Um, I, to, to me, and this may not be true, but gut hooks always seemed like for the filthy casual, I guess. Like 
No, like, I want, yeah, I want a nice easy. knife that I can do all my breakdown with and my skinning and it needs a gut hook because I don't want to carry one tool where yeah. I'm that asshole who's got the roll. That's got, you know, a couple different knives. Bone saws. Bone saw. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, got yeah. my shears and a few other things. Well, uh, then. Because I'd rather pack in five pounds a gear and but not if, stress. But if you have your whole roll of stuff and you want your all in one, why can't you do everything with a knife? Why can't you guide it up with yeah. your knife? This just makes it so much easier. Because I'm a filthy casual. Well, but, but I mean, this adds, like, if you, uh, I mean, but this Simplicity. adds, what is this? This has got to be six or seven ounces. Not much at all. It's not much at all. And it's not much at all. It's not adding a, uh, adding a lot to your pack. And, and you don't have to downgrade the steel on your hunting knife so that you can have both tools. Yeah. You, yeah. As long as you're willing to carry them. And they make a folding ounces. version, which is a lot less size-wise. So if you're going yeah. sheep hunting and you want to take that and you don't want to take your mediocre steel, not that this is a mediocre steel, on like zip blade with your knife, then you can take your folding version of this and then your nice hunting knife. Yeah, yeah, they do make a folding version of this, which is, I mean, it's like. Has replaceable blades, right? Yeah. No, no, no. They didn't make just a one, did just they? a folding yeah. one. Gotcha. No, no, no. The, the the zip blade doesn't have replaceable blades. Not the blades. zip, but the. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, the other yeah, 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 yeah. So you have five different blades you can go through as they're dulling yeah. out, so you don't have to worry about sharpening or anything like that. So I'm a little curious on why you guys don't sharpen those things with the. An angle grinder while uh <laughs> <laughs> just get it in real quick. Why don't you just use a Dremel? Like so, every uh, other guy that brings it, like, so, hey, my buddy fucked this up with a Dremel. Can you fix it? Yes, I can fix it. Uh, Precision Edge sharpens gut hooks, by the way. Oh yeah, oh, yeah with, a, do, with yeah. a Dremel, right? Dremel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, depending yeah, on the sure. size, can a gut hook be buffed? It can be. It's yes. Fair, yeah. If it's nicked up, there's not much you can do. Gotcha. Here's what also yeah. really sucks about doing this is when you have to buff this. You have to get the wheel to bend in, mm. and so what it does is the wheel does this kind of S curve, and it is very close to catching this. And if the wheel catches that, it's that whole knife's going, going for a yep. ride. And yep. If your hands are on it, mm -hmm. I have stitches 20 stitches to prove that that <laughs> fucking sucks, yeah. right? And so it, you don't. I really dislike. And even if they're yeah. small enough, I'll just be like, no. Yeah. I'm not yeah, gonna sure. risk. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna risk running my hands through the so buffer just to buff with a knife for a minute, yeah. just to yeah. buff up this on a. You know, it's like, yep. I, I wouldn't have to have $1,500 worth of stitches to sharpen this $70 yeah, knife, yeah, yeah. you Makes know sense. what I mean? It's just, I like it's, how yours were less than mine, I had half the amount of yours. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. I, know. I, I, I think my, mine was only like 1200 bucks for 20, 20 stitches. And change. Yeah. Frequent customer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, see, I got a, I got a bulk, I got a bulk <laughs> discount. I got your punch card <laughs> every time you go in.